Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll guide you through upgrading macOS High Sierra to macOS Catalina on a 2010 MacBook, which is no longer supported by Apple. As you may know, the 2010 MacBook officially supports only macOS High Sierra, so checking for updates through Software Update won't show the latest macOS versions. Follow this video step-by-step -step from start to finish to ensure a smooth installation without errors. Let's dive into the tutorial. First, Open your preferred browser and navigate to google.com. In the search bar, type macOS Catalina unsupported Mac. On the search results page, click the link for the macOS Catalina patcher. This website provides detailed information about the macOS Catalina patcher, including which Mac devices can install macOS Catalina and which cannot. To download the macOS Catalina patcher, click the download latest version button and wait for the download to complete. Once the download is finished, click the Show and Finder icon. Double-click the macOS Catalina Patcher DMG file to mount it. After mounting, drag the macOS Catalina Patcher to your desktop. Then, close all Finder windows and unmount the macOS Catalina Patcher volume. Next, open Disk Utility by clicking Launchpad and selecting Other. To view disks in detail, Click View in the top left corner and choose Show All Devices. To partition a disk, select the disk in the left panel, then click Partition in the right panel. In the pop-up window, click the Partition button. Click the plus button below the circle. Then in the Size column, type 12 and press Enter. In the Format column, select Mac Oz Extended Journaled. And in the Name column, enter Catalina or another name of your choice. Click the Apply button. In the next pop-up window, click Partition then click Continue in the following window. Wait for the disk partitioning process to complete. If the process fails, as it did in this case, repeat the partitioning steps. Click the Done button to close the pop-up window. Select the disk again in the left pane, click Partition in the right pane, and click the white area in the circle. In the Format column, select Mac OS Extended Journaled, then click Apply. In the pop-up window, click Partition. This time, the partitioning process should succeed. Click Done to close the pop-up window, then close Disk Utility. Now, ensure the disk drive icon appears on the desktop. Open Finder, click the Finder menu, and select Preferences. In the Preferences window, check the box for hard disks under Show these items on the desktop. Close the Finder Preferences window and the Finder window. You should now see the disk drive icon on your desktop. Run the macOS Catalina Patcher by right-clicking the icon and selecting Open. Wait for the verification process to complete, then click the Open button to launch the macOS Catalina Patcher. In the main window, click Continue. You'll see a list of contributors to this project. Click Continue again to proceed. In the next window, you'll have two options. Select Browse a copy if you've already downloaded macOS Catalina, or download a copy if you haven't. Since I hadn't downloaded macOS Catalina, I chose Download a copy. Click the Start Download button to begin downloading macOS Catalina. Wait for the download to complete. Once the download is complete, you'll see three installation options. Since I'm installing macOS Catalina using a bootable installer, I select the Create Bootable Installer option. Choose the volume to use as the installer. In this case, select the Catalina volume, then click Start. In the pop-up warning window, click Yes, enter your Mac admin password, and click OK. The process of creating the macOS Catalina bootable installer will begin. Wait for it to finish. Once the bootable installer volume is successfully created, click Quit. Open the Catalina volume you made bootable. You'll see it now contains the bootable macOS Catalina. Restart your MacBook to boot from the macOS Catalina volume. When the screen turns gray, press and hold the Option key until the boot options appear.
navigate to the Catalina volume and press enter. Wait for the loading process to complete, then enter macOS utilities. In macOS utilities, since I want to upgrade from macOS High Sierra to macOS Catalina without deleting data, select reinstall macOS and click continue. To proceed with the macOS Catalina installation, click continue again. Read the software license agreement, and if you agree, click agree. In the pop-up window, click agree again. Select the disk to install macOS Catalina, then click install. The macOS Catalina installation process will begin. Wait for it to complete. The installation of macOS Catalina on the 2010 MacBook is now complete and successful. Next, macOS Catalina will prompt you to configure additional and personal settings. Follow the on-screen guide to complete these settings. Once the additional settings are complete, you'll arrive at the macOS Catalina desktop. You may notice a new update for the night shift patch. To install it, click the Install One Item button. In the pop-up window, enter your Mac admin password and click OK. Wait for the installation to finish. Then click Restart later in the pop-up window. The final step is to delete the partition or volume used for the bootable macOS Catalina installer. Open Disk Utility, select the disk in the left pane, and click Partition in the right pane. Click the white area in the circle, then click the minus button below it. Click Apply, and in the pop-up window, click Partition. Wait for the partitioning process to complete. Once finished, click Done, then close Disk Utility. That's how to upgrade macOS High Sierra to macOS Catalina on a 2010 MacBook no longer supported by Apple. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.